How many lectures per week are there? And besides lecture, how many hours per week are we expected to spend in private study and consolidation? The number of lectures per week varies by year, and you may consult the exact timetables on our website, but assume something of the order of a couple of lectures per day, Monday to Friday. Besides lectures organized and delivered by the department, you also have practical labs, also delivered by the department, and supervisions, usually delivered by the college, except for the more specialized topics in the third year, which are again uh, dealt with by the department. In the second year, you also have a group project, and in the third year, you have a substantial individual project. Besides all that, you're expected to study on your own to consolidate the material in the lectures, read textbooks, do the exercises, write programs, prepare for supervisions, where you will be able to ask questions on anything you need help with in each specific course. And that's not counting extracurricular activities such as sport, music, or engaging with a wide variety of student societies. So the department plans the student workload on the basis of an ideal work week of around 40 hours, as you would experience in a regular 9 to 5 job. However, you are ultimately judged by output, how well you're able to apply the concepts that were taught, not by input, how many hours you spent on it. And so individuals vary greatly in the time it takes them to understand the same idea or solve the same problem or write the same program. So it all depends on how familiar the material being taught is to you already, how quickly you learn, how able you are to concentrate and cut off distractions, how much of a perfectionist you are, how good you are at time management, and so on and so forth. And so this 40-hour week is just a guideline. Some people will take less, some people will take more. The actual number of hours varies very greatly by student. And given the peer pressure that you will experience once you are here and surrounded by other really gifted individuals just like you, you need to make a conscious effort to keep it manageable. Time management is a serious issue at university, especially in a competitive and demanding top-tier university like Cambridge. It's easy to get overwhelmed and, and I congratulate you because it's good of you to ask this question and think about it before even starting. Putting in 60 hour weeks in order to catch up, as some of my students do, is not the solution. You will not be considered a hero. You'll just be a martyr, which is not a good thing. And you will set yourself up for a breakdown. Don't do that. Instead, learn to set priorities. Learn to do what's important first and to stop when you need to stop. And learn not to do some of the things you should in theory do so that you leave space in your life for other things than just studying. Get enough sleep. Take holidays. Time management is a difficult skill which few people master and you will find plenty of self-appointed gurus on YouTube who will tell you how to do it. I suggest you use the challenges that the university throws at you as a playground to learn how to manage your own time wisely. It's hard but it's worth investing in this meta skill because if you do it then it will probably be one of the most useful things you learn during your time here, even more than what is taught in the lectures. If you are still watching, please leave a green tea emoji in a comment. I have a hunch you will enjoy these other videos where I discuss time management for university students in greater detail.